once again, the final moment before lights out and the charge down to turn one. Who will come out on top at Paul Ricard today? We'll find out soon as the French Grand Prix gets underway. A lap of Paul Ricard then consists of 15 corners and a total length of around 3.6 miles. Drivers will need to position their cars carefully on the exit of the flat out turn 10, ready for the double apex right hander at 11. Watch out for potential overtaking action at the end of the start finish straight and into the heavy braking zone of turn eight. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Max Verstappen and Albon. Ricardo, Ocon, Sainz, and Lance Stroll, Norris, Grosjean, Kimi Raikkonen, and Magnussen, Gasly, Perez, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Daniel Kvyat, Latifi, and George Russell ends our grid lineup. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can... Yeah. 